catch you by face here um for a quick little episode um you know my motto more smiling less worrying more less stress more blessed today this morning me and my girlfriend we went to a feria and that's my first time going to a feria that feria talking about the mean coats that um they're going out of business she had called me yesterday about it and she said you know you know a lot of the farriers they're going out of business because they can't kill the animals no more to make fur coats so i said yeah well you know, okay so she said she wanted to go because she always wanted a coat so now would be the best time to get one you know because all the a lot of the farriers are closing down and they're getting rid of a lot of their coats so Mano Swartz. Mano Swartz. I don't know if you can see that name. Mano Swartz. And his email is www.manoswartz.com. Their phone number is 410 Four one zero eight two five nine thousand. When I we got there about the doors open well they said the doors open at ten. It's from ten to five this Saturday and Sunday at the tropical ballroom on Utica Utica Avenue. Gotta get the address for you guys. Um Utica Avenue, but also too they're gonna to be going around different places to sell their furs but in right now they're in brooklyn for two days Friday, saturday and sunday from 10 to 5 at the tropical ballroom on utica avenue you can also google google that up and we got there about 8 30 8 30 we thought we'd have to be on a line or something like that but i have when i drove past the door was open so i told my girlfriend i said well, you go inside let me find out let me go get a park so when I came back, it had quite a few people in there, at least about 30. So we was number 56 because they went by numbers in order to call you in a the room. They, but they was going by tens, like the first 10, the first, the next up to 20, and the next up to 30. They did like that. But everybody got in, and they got them a little something, something. When we first got there, they were playing bingo. So they were playing bingo until the doors opened. And they was, um, your bingo prize was earmuffs, mink, mink, fur, fur earmuffs. So I had, um, on the second try, when they did it for the second time, I won some mink earmuffs. They're brown and they're cute and they're warm. Oh my goodness. Sorry. All right, guys, got my daughter calling me on the phone in the house phone. I'll call her. I'll talk to her for a few. I'll call her back. But, yes, as I was saying, I won these cute little earmuffs, fur earmuffs, or at Bingo. They're absolutely, oh, they're so soft and they're so fuzzy and they're so nice. And my girlfriend, she came out with a beautiful black mink coat. Oh, my God. $300. A beautiful black mink coat, maybe with the tax. It had tax on it, but I mean, it was a sale that was out of this world. And I found, a, um, I don't have it on me now because I left it at my sister's house. A black mink wrap, just for around your shoulders and stuff like that. Where you want to be cute. I should have um, videotaped it before I, I gave it to her, but she probably put it on on her video. That's Captain with friends. When you see her, she got my she she got my wrap. But it's very very nice. So I just wanted to promote them because their coats are beautiful. They're not um, any any type of ragtag that they're selling or nothing like that. There they're not doing that. Um, they're coats that were on layaway or um, people may have used the ferrier to house their coats and never came back for them um it's 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 it's, it's 
very, very nice. It's, it's worth the money. It's worth the money. You get your first coat for two to three hundred dollars if you're buying your your first your first coat. Any if you're buying two or more, two or more, your second coat is um have um five hundred dollars up. Five hundred dollars up before your first coat is two to three hundred dollars. So if you find and they did have coats in there and uh, wraps and ponchos for two to three hundred dollars, and they had some coats in there, long coats too, two to three hundred dollars. That was awesome. So you would get that coat for that price, and if you bought you another one, it would be at the regular price that it is. Um, the guys was in there buying coats just as much, much as the women. Yes, the guys was in there. They was on those jackets and they had on some nice jackets. I was looking at one guy. He had a very nice one. I would wait for him to put that sucker down. He would put that sucker down. I would have picked it up. Cause when you tell somebody, oh, that look real nice on you. And they not too sure they want to not. As soon as you say, oh, that look nice on you. Now they want the coat. They ain't putting it down no more. So I was like, Hmm, I ain't gonna say nothing about that one because I can, hmm, that'd be a nice Christmas gift for my fiance. Hmm, you know, extra, extra, extra. But he wound up buying it and it did look that nice on him. It really did. So I just wanted to let y'all know about my Saturday morning, what I was doing, and that they will um, be having more sales. As a matter of fact, I was talking to one of the ladies in there. And she said it had three furriers out for Saturday. Two were in Manhattan and the one was in Brooklyn. And I don't know where he's located at as far as the 410 phone number goes. I got to look that up. What is 410? But it's great. And you can see for my little wrap, I only paid. I wish I, wish I had it on me to show you guys. But I only paid $43.20. 4320 for a nice little wrap shirt. I have a long um, mink coat already. Um, it's past my knees. I don't have one to drop to the floor. Because one thing about a mink coat, it's good to have, you know, when you want to look elegant and feel good, or you just like a mink coat, I think every woman should at least have one. And um, you don't get to wear them, really. Because it has to be really cold outside for you to put, for, at least for me, for me to put on a mink coat, it has to be really cold outside. And the, it's been cold, but those mink keep you warm. They do. They keep you warm. And so I really don't get to wear it depending on how cold it is outside. But if I'm going out somewhere or something like that and it's cold, yes, I want to look elegant and cute. And I'll put on mine. But, um... Other than that there, um, yes, every woman should get a mink coat. And but when you go to those little, it's not an auction. Because that's what I thought it was. I thought it was an auction. But it's not an auction. And they made sure that everyone went out the door with a coat that was priced from 200 to $300. They made sure of that. Because they had plenty. They had plenty. And they were nice. Yes, they were. They were nice. And they was in all sizes, all sizes from tall to short, from big to small. Because I'm not such a big person. If I wanted one, I did. Trust me, there was a few in there that I seen that I wouldn't mind having. That was very, very nice. But I said, "How many mink coats can you have?" Some people want a lot. Me, just give me one. Give me one long one or one medium one and one wrap, and I'm good. I don't need them more than that. I'm not that. Me crazy, and now that I got me some, I gotta find something to brown, with brown. I said, Well, if I find me a brown sweater or a brown shirt, some brown shoes, guess what? Mm hmm, yeah, uh huh, mm hmm, yeah, what with the mink, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, fuzzy. Ow. Ooh, ooh. Catch it. Devil's right face. Catch it. Ooh. <laughs> Being silly. 
But yes, it was very, very nice. So I was glad for my girlfriend because this is her first mink coat that she purchased. And she loves it. And it looks so nice on her. So, so nice on her. So, you guys, I just want to come on with that. But you guys know about the ferriers are out there. And they're closing down because it's law now that they cannot kill any more animals because you know we have a lot of those animal people that be out there and be, be ah no don't get i'm gonna go right up in there and i'm gonna get me one of them bad boys and uh, lord forgive me for whatever but i didn't kill that animal but i'm sure gonna buy it and i'm gonna wear it because i like it and going about my business but i'm glad that you can't kill animals no more because they don't deserve that type of torment you know just for their hair but um now that you can't do it no more, go get you one. Because, you know, it may be the last time that you'll be able to per get, get your dream coat for little or nothing. Little or nothing. So keep your ears pierced and Google it up, like where they're having um, fur sales at. And go check them out. Go check them out. I guarantee you will come out a winner. You will come out a winner. I don't know if everybody... Maybe some rules are different. Maybe have to be from three hundred to four hundred dollars. Maybe four hundred to five hundred dollars. But there in Brooklyn, it was two hundred to three hundred dollars for your purchase of your first coat. And I thought that was excellent because we all are on a budget. So if you could find you something nice for that price, thumbs up. Anyway, this is your girl Catch It By Faith, and I will be talking to you guys. Um, probably later on. I'll see, but later on. But Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I hope that people are here to this message and take a, advantage of the first opportunity to be blessed with a mink coat that will suit their needs. Yes, that will suit your needs and love on it. Because every girl deserves a little, yeah, a little nice something something. If she don't get her a nice ring, a nice piece of jewelry, um, get that mink coat. On that note, talk to you later, guys. I am going to go find me some lunch because the girlfriend is hungry after being in there. But it was, it was well worth it. Talk to you later. Love you. If nobody else said they love you today, know that I did. I love you and catch you later. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.